Hey guys, you're watching official Xenolab tutorials and this one has intermediate level so if you just start learning Xena poster I would first of all recommend you to watch a few other basic tutorials. Ok, let's begin. This video tutorial is how to identify element Uniq on dynamic page and sites. There are cases when project maker identifies elements on the page and finds it but there are more than one element with such search criteria. So we can't be sure that the next execution this element will be found correctly. In this tutorial I'll share with you basic tips how to get over such problems and how to deal with them. I'll do that on hubpage.com site. Let's start recording and go to this URL. In this tutorial we won't use automatic recording by project maker. So you know when you click an element it's automatically recorded to your project. But also you can do that by Action Designer. When you click by right mouse button on the element, you can move it to Action Designer. So we will use this way in this tutorial. First of all, I want to open another tab. It's selected Element Properties. Okay, and when I move mouse over any element on this page. Okay. I see detailed info about this element with all attributes it has. So I will be able to use these attributes later to find it on the page. Also when I use Action Designer I actually turn off highlight only important elements. I like all elements to be highlighted not only important. For instance, we want to click this button, join now. Ok, let's move it to Action Designer and see how it's identified there. You can see that search element control has all information about search criteria that I used to identify this element. Ok. So it's tab name, document, form number, the text that we are looking for, attribute name, attribute value and search type. In this case Project Maker recommends us to identify this element by href attribute and this value. But you can see that not only one element can be found by this criteria. But we want this element to be found UniQ if it's possible. We can see that the first one element is this one and the second one is this button sign up now. So they go to the same page but different buttons. Let's see if we are able to identify join now button by using another attribute. To do this I switch them and then to identify appropriate element UniQ. You can see that the first one, join now button, has join span ID. But the second element doesn't have ID, it's empty. We can try to find join now button by ID. Ok, let's try it. For first elements it's join span, we copy it and paste here. Ok. Now you can see that it's found and there is only one element with such criteria, so it's quite good. Then we can select action that we want to do with our element, for instance we can click it. Ok, first we can test and then add this action to project. We won't do that because the task of this tutorial to show you how to identify dynamic elements. Ok, what we can do next? We can see here five images. Yes, these ones. Ok, for instance we want to click one of them. Let's try to identify these five elements. Move it to Action Designer and Project Maker recommends us to identify it by full tag with attribute image 
so just by tag all images are collected here now it's more than five so we should try to identify it another way to find only these five images I highlight one of them and will estimate what can be used as search criteria you can see that um, in important attributes we only have after HTML and source we could try to do it with source but first of all let's try to find it by one of attributes from out HTML you can see here that this image has class attribute with name success image then source then alternative text then height and width so let's start from class we can use class as an attribute for searching our element okay class of this element is success image we can see that all elements all images that we are looking for has this class okay I'm not sure if any other image on the page has this class but we can try to find and we'll see okay we got five elements that we wanted so we found identification for them search criteria class attribute with value success image now we can choose an action and click randomly one of them but we will continue with finding elements on this page the last element that I wanted to find is this button connect with Facebook it looks interesting and I think it won't be identified UniQ let's try yes we have 11 matches from 0 to 10 by href attribute okay let's see what we have in attributes of these elements and what attribute we can use to identify it we can see now that we have on click attribute Facebook connect and return false its JavaScript function that happens when we click this button okay let's try to identify it by this attribute okay we can write on click here on click and attribute value is Facebook connect return false okay and search type in this case will be text okay you can see that it's identified UniQ only one element with such value in outlook on click attribute it's the last element that we identify in this tutorial let's click it just for example okay you can see that we redirected on facebook.com to login and if we want to add this action to project we click appropriate button and it is here that's all I wanted to explain in this tutorial thank you for watching bye